Hi everyone, I'm Don and welcome back to VR Gamer Dude. So, you know, when it comes to the growing market out there for XR glasses, over the past couple of years, there have been three names consistently making waves in the industry, and that's Xreal, Vitcher, and Rokid. Now, each of these companies does bring something unique to the table, but a lot of us just want to know how does their latest XR glasses tech stack up against each other in areas like display quality and perceived screen size and sound quality and comfort and well as someone who owns all of these glasses and more I get asked those questions a lot so today I thought I would finally dive in and give you guys my thoughts on the three front runners being the Vitra Pro the Xreal Air 2 Pro and the Rokid Max. So, let's go. Okay, so first up, let's talk about what a lot of folks out there consider to be the most important factor in choosing XR glasses like these, which is display quality. In this category, the Vitra Pro stands out due to its new Sony Micro OLED panels. These screens produce a wide gamut of vibrant colors, deep blacks, and have a crystal clear resolution that makes everything from movies to games look stunning. The Xreal Air 2 Pro also offers a commendable display, but to my eyes it just didn't quite match the Vitra Pro's color accuracy and clarity. The Air 2 Pro also has a slightly larger perceived screen size, which causes the image to look slightly more lazed. The Rokit Max, while still decent looking, doesn't really come close to matching the clarity or color representation of the other two glasses and was also the most delayed looking image out of the three, most likely due to it having the largest perceived screen size. Now, what good is having a beautiful screen if you can't see it clearly? Both the Vitra Pros and Rokit Max offer diopter adjustment capabilities. This means that if you fall within the allotted prescription range, you won't need to purchase additional corrective lenses or wear these glasses over your existing ones, which quite honestly can get uncomfortable. If you do need a good set of prescription lenses though, make sure to check out this video's description for a link to our good friends over at VR Rock. And don't forget, if you go and buy a set, use code VRGAMERDUDE for an extra 10% off your order. Now, another great feature of the Vitra Pro and Xreal Air 2 Pro glasses is their layer of privacy. When the user activates the auto-darkening electrochromic film, the front of the screen is completely hidden, with only the wearer able to see the screen image. The Xreal Air 2 Pros actually offer three levels of electrochromic dimming as compared to the Vitra Pro single level, and while they both offer screen privacy, the reverse sound field of the Harman Kardon tuned speakers in the Vitra Pro makes them the ideal choice for users who value privacy over all else. The Rokit Max has no electrochromic film and doesn't seem to be focused on privacy features at all, with the screen visible from the front at all times and having the loudest audio bleed out of the three pairs of glasses tested. When it comes to perceived screen sizes, bigger is usually better, and this is where the Rokid Max actually takes the crown, boasting the capability of producing up to a 360 inch screen, with Xreal coming in almost neck and neck at 330 inches when connected to its beam accessory. Now, when I talk about judging the screen size, you may notice I keep using the word perceived. And that's because not everyone seems to see these projected screen sizes as being the same. The optics in the Rokit Max really make it feel like you're looking at a massive screen, making it a great choice for media consumption and other immersive experiences. The Vitra Pro also offers a large perceived screen size at 135 inches, but it doesn't quite match the sheer scale that the Rokit Max or Xreal Air 2 Pro managed to deliver. 
So if screen size is your number one most important factor in buying a set of glasses, then the Rokid Max or Xreal Air 2 Pro might be an ideal choice for you. Sound quality is another crucial factor in choosing XR glasses, and here the Vitra Pro again is a clear frontrunner. The built-in Harman Kardon speakers deliver rich immersive audio that complements the high-quality displays perfectly. The Xreal Air 2 Pro also offers a great sound quality, but it doesn't quite reach the same level of depth or clarity as the Vitra Pro, especially when the glasses are being used with their neckband accessory. Using the neckband opens up the ability to use custom-designed Harman Kardon sound fields, and man, let me tell ya, these make a huge difference. The Rokid Max, while serviceable, offers a more basic audio experience that might not satisfy everyone. Comfort is where Xreal Air 2 Pro really excels. The lightweight design and ergonomic fit make it easy to wear for extended periods, which is crucial for pretty much any XR device these days. The Vitra Pro, while not totally uncomfortable, is a bit bulkier, and with its highly rigid frames, these XR glasses might not be as suitable for long work or play sessions. The Rokid Max is somewhere in between, offering a decent comfort level, but not quite matching Xreal Air 2 Pro's level of wearability. When it comes to accessories and overall ecosystem, Vitra again is a clear winner here. Their range of thoughtfully designed accessories, including the neckband computer, multiplayer 3D Pro docking station, custom 8-bit dough controller, and a variety of cool lens shade choices, shows a level of thought and integration that the other companies just quite haven't matched yet. Xreal and Rokid both do currently offer a minimal amount of accessories to complement their glasses, with offerings from Xreal like the Beam and Rokid with their Station. Now, one thing that could change my mind on that, however, is the upcoming Beam Pro from Xreal. And truth be told, I've already received one. So, unfortunately, I can't share my thoughts on this with you just yet, but be on the lookout for a full review of this new X-Rail accessory somewhere in mid-July. Until then, my opinion still stands that Vitra currently has the edge when it comes to the offerings of a fully realized accessory lineup. So overall, each of these sets of XR glasses has its strengths. The Vitra Pro wins hands down in the display and sound quality category, making it a fantastic choice for those who prioritize visual and audio excellence over anything else. The Xreal Air 2 Pro excels in comfort, making it the ideal choice for long immersive sessions and the best selection for someone who needs a set of XR glasses for all day use. And when it comes to that huge screen IMAX-like experience, at the cost of some lazing and screen edge blurring, the Rokid Max, while not my personal choice, is still an excellent option for those willing to sacrifice a bit of quality to save a few dollars versus Vitra or Xreal. Okay, so I guess the big question that most people watching this video probably want to know about is, if I were making a purchase today, which set of these glasses would I choose? Well, that's a tough choice, but as the market stands currently, as of right now, I would still choose the Vitra Pros for their higher quality screens and extremely thought out line of accessories. I do wish, though, that the Vitra Pro glasses were on the same comfort level as Xreal, which are really so close in screen quality that it does make it a hard decision to make. Now, if you're just wanting to see what the buzz is all about with XR glasses and you don't want to make a huge investment into the tech, then I'd say the Rokid Max remains a solid choice for budget-conscious consumers. So. All right, there you have it in a nutshell. If I was to buy right now, I would choose Vitra 
And it's not just because I have an affiliate link with them. I know a lot of people are probably going, yeah, you're just you're picking them because you have an affiliate link. And here, here's the thing. I wouldn't have that affiliate link and I wouldn't recommend their tech if I didn't truly use it and believe it. I got a lot of choices back here, but that's the one that I reach for. So that is the one that I personally choose to promote. There's a lot of cool stuff coming down the pipe from each of these companies. New XR glasses with full six degrees of freedom, AR, the works. So the future of XR tech is bright and I cannot wait to see what each of these companies brings to the table next. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. This is Don signing off.